All righty, here we're talking with Henry Diltz, and we're at the Grammy Museum. Should we turn this way? Yeah. All right. And uh, so we're at the uh, a special exhibit at the Grammy Museum, and uh, kind of fill us in on what we're seeing here. Well, this is called California Dreamin', an exhibit about Laurel Canyon in the 60s, maybe early 70s, but about all the music that came out of there, because, of course, so many musicians lived up there in Laurel Canyon, the Mama Cass was the Gertrude Stein of Laurel Canyon. And you had, you know, Stephen Stills, the Mamas and Papas, Neil Young, David Crosby. I mean, Mark Bowman from the Turtles, Gene Clark. I mean, everybody lived up there. And so did I. And <laughs> well, you I were, you were living kind of right in the middle of them, and you I had was, a camera. Boom. I, I was a, a folk musician, and I picked up a camera and started photographing all my friends, and they became famous. Who knew, you know? So that was a lucky break. And so here today we have a big exhibit of a lot of these people who lived in Laurel Canyon and made that music. Wow. Can you give us a quickly guided tour? Come on, let's start at the end here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Henry me as the my, young man. Me in my bathroom in Laurel Canyon, right there. In your bathroom in Laurel Canyon? Yep. It was an early selfie. An early selfie, yeah, right. 66. Oh, yeah. And I'm all dressed to go to the Renaissance Fair. I got my love beads. See? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I remember sneaking into a, a Renaissance Fair back in the day. Crosby Sills Nash, first album cover. Come on, walk and walk along. Famous, now. yeah. Joni Mitchell at, at you know, her very, very, very fine house. Yes, very fine house. Mama Cass, who lived up in, uh, up, up in Laurel Canyon. Up on... Uh, Woodrow Wilson. Yes, Woodrow Wilson. Thank you. From the wings. <laughs> My prompter. Thank you, Gary. Here's, here's Nareet Wild, uh, a dear friend from the 60s in Rosilla Meadow. That's Rosilla Place. I lived right up, right up there. And that's like so idyllic and, and so like out in the country for being so smack dab in the city. I know. I think that lot is still there, I believe, last time I looked. And that, that was really kind of the draw of Laurel Canyon, was that it was so yeah, there were vacant lots. It was rustic and it was but it was real close to the city. Five minutes from Hollywood, but you were in the country with coyotes and raccoons and possums and owls and all of Awesome. The Eagles all lived up there at one time or another. Yep. Would you loitering? This is uh, Mark and Howard, or Flo and Eddie from Zappa's group and from the Turtles. Yep. And that's Mark's garage across the street from me on Lookout Mountain Avenue. And then here they are with, uh, with Zappa. Zappa named them Flo and Eddie because their record company wouldn't let them call themselves Mark and Howard. They were contracted to another record company under their real name, so they couldn't use. Isn't that so? A those nutty? persona yeah. were created. Yes, yes. Here is awesome. myself and Gary Burden, who is my uh, partner in making a lot of these album covers. Yes. And Mama Cass. Oh my goodness! Now, where was where was this tape? That's Mama Cass's house. At Cass's yeah. house. Up, up in Little Canyon. Very cool. Joni again. At her very, very, very fine house. My sister's favorite shot of all time. Oh, that's right. I think I promised her a friend. <laughs> the monkeys. Hey, were, hey. Mickey Dolan's was my neighbor up on Lookout Mountain Avenue. There they are. Yeah. I love, I remember that great picture of, uh, that you took in the dressing room with uh, Nicholson yeah. cavorting around right. during the head sessions. Yeah. That was great. Jim. Morrison, who lived up there near the Canyon Store. That's him at Hollywood Bowl. Barry McGuire lived on Rosilla Place, where I live. There's the turtles right in that same meadow that Nareet was in, the Rosilla Meadow. That was uh, a nice little location, yeah. handy location. Very huh? nice, yeah. This was at Monterey Pop. Right. And it's the Buffalo Springfield that Neil didn't show up, so they, they, they drafted David Crosby to stand in for the, for the evening. And this was uh, kind of a bone of contention with, uh, with McGuinn, yes, as I yes, recall. Yes, it was. Right. And probably the, One of the, the start of the CSN as well, you know? Yeah. It's kind of the Here, end of one era and the beginning of another right there. Yes. 
Steppenwolf posing for their album cover in a, ho- in a house that had burned down right next to Joni Mitchell's house. Oh my. Uh, and you see the speakers and everything that were burned out records and everything. There's Joni in her backyard playing yeah. her mountain dulcimer. That's the dulcimer. Yeah. The lady who did that is right Joe here. Allen, Can we Allen. grab her real fast? Is she see her. like inside? No. Okay, all right. We carry we can on. splice her in. Linda Ronstadt, uh, barefoot all the time. At the, beautiful. Uh, hanging out at the Troubadour every night. Saw her at the Golden Bear and Bare Feet in 68. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah, it was great. At the Golden Bear and Bare Feet. Yes. The Eagles. Henley's old Ford. That's up in the Hollywood Hills. That's Cyrus, one of the guys I sang with, and his wife Renee, and uh, Ben Barry McGuire. Had a love him. One of the MFQ guys, Cyrus. The MFQ guys, right? Yep. Glenn Fry, posing with uh, an old 55 from the Tom Waits song. Right. And, he, and we'll see that later down the way here, that old 55 Chevy. Mamas and Papas, well, uh, they kind of lived up, up on Lookout Mountain. This is a wonderful shot. I just, I yeah, love this. I love you know, yeah. John's, uh, John's get up is just yeah, classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's uh, Joni uh, behind her house on Lookout Mountain Avenue, right up in Little Canyon. That's my partner, Gary Burden's daughter, Amy. Nice. Here's CSNY Taylor and Reeves. Stevens House, which is on the valley side of Laurel Canyon. One afternoon. On the valley side of Laurel Canyon. Yeah, so okay. the valley side. Overlooking, uh, overlooking this, the whole valley. Yeah, instead yeah. Of the city. yeah. Dan Fogelberg, who came to Laurel Canyon, rented a little place. And my wife and I would always hear the spring piano music coming out of his cabin. And the next day he walks across the street and says to my wife, Hi, I'm Dan Fogelberg. She says, I'm Elizabeth Dilt. Dilt? Any relation to Henry Dilt? Because I'm looking for him to do my album cover. And so, ah, small world. <laughs> no degrees of separation. <laughs> and this was the shot for the album cover. That's wonderful. Close to the, of course, Morrison Hotel in downtown L.A. Yes, the famous. And this is, of course, the, uh, the namesake of your... Company. That's right. In Gallery, Gallery in New York. Yes. Cyrus Spariar, again, who sang with me in the Modern Folk Quartet. This Paisley Studebaker was parked down at the Canyon store one day, and John and Michelle Phillips saw it and offered the guy an offer he couldn't refuse because they wanted to give it to Cyrus, <laughs> which they did. Nice. Mama Cass. I mean, oh, no, Michelle. Michelle. Oh, Michelle. But I think Michelle. Pregnant with China. I was just going to say, she looks a little large with child, yes. Boy, she was radiant. Here's that old, old 55 again. Yes. Same car. It's the same car. Yeah. No, who Glenn, Glenn Fry gave it to Jackson. Jackson gave it to a girlfriend, and we borrowed it back for an album cover shoot. And the girlfriend is waiting in the back seat. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. She's one those are yeah. her bare feet there. She's, She's uh, just waiting till we finish it. Gotcha. Good drive home. And who did the letter? Uh, we had Harry Hurst kind of guy do it. Professional guy. You know. Gotcha. But oh, like you guys weren't professional, right? We weren't letterer. Not lettering professionals, you know. Okay. Buffalo Springfield at a folk club. Mama Cash's backyard here where they had a now, this is one of your first photos, yeah. isn't it? That's my first rock and roll shot. Quickly tell us a story. It's well, 66. Yeah, Stephen asked me if I wanted to come to the uh, a club in Redondo Beach where they were doing a sound check. And I wanted to go so I could shoot people on the beach, which I did. And then I was shooting this mural for my slideshows. And they walked out the back door and I said, Will you guys stand there a minute so I can show how big that mural is? Yeah, sure. Uh, he came. No, 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 no really. You know. It's a fabulous background. Yes. Mama Cass's backyard, where she had a picnic for Eric Clapton. She oh, met him on yeah. a TV show. He didn't know anybody. So she invited him up. There's David doing what uh-huh. he liked to do. Uh huh. That's Owen, Mama Cass's daughter, Owen's shooting daughter. on my film can, which is over in one of these exhibits. Oh, my goodness, with the yeah. teeth marks and everything. Yeah, right? yeah indeed. My God. Neil Young, who lived in Wilkins for quite a while, and then moved up north. There he is. He lived in uh, Topanga for a while, too. He did, yeah. 
And then, Mama Cat. This is I just so noticed, awesome. I just How noticed did, she's wearing her size 10 shoes. <laughs> How did he set this shot up? I mean, who's well, Gary? The concept was Gary Burton's idea. Okay. We took a limo to Palm Springs in the middle of the night and arrived at dawn and laid these blankets out on a sand dune. And uh, the actual story is, by eight o'clock in the morning, the makeup was running down her face. It was 102. So we checked into the Gene Autry Motel, sat by the pool all day, and went back in the late afternoon. Finally, got the shot. Well, the late afternoon lights better anyway, right? Yes. And it was going to be an album cover, but it got used for a billboard on Sunset Strip. Step. That's. And there's me again. And there's Henry today. Paul Zolo, who's here somewhere. I don't know if he's seen that yet, has he? Very good. And, and uh, preview I understand you've got an autobiography in the works. That'll be another year or two. Yeah. Beginning to put the toe in the water, you know. <laughs> very good, very good. Well, thanks so much for the sure, tour. Appreciate you. your time. It's wonderful to see you again. See you, folks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>